Hey guys, Scott from Fry Props here, and today we're going to take a look at how to control a magnetic lock using a Peekaboo One controller. A Peekaboo One controller is a very simple controller. It has a single trigger input and a single output, which means that you can put a trigger in here and control a device that's connected to the controller. First thing we'd want to do is power on the Peekaboo. Next, we'll wire the magnetic lock to the Peekaboo One. You can see on the output that there's a minus and a plus. Just take the red wire from the mag lock into the plus and the black into the minus. If your wires aren't covered, polarity doesn't really matter on DC devices like this, so you can wire them to whichever of the two outputs you like. You notice that the mag lock is currently not activated. That's because by default, a Peekaboo One comes with a normally open output. That means that this circuit is normally open, meaning there's not normally power flowing to the connected device until you trigger it. So if we were to program this Peekaboo One as normal, we would hit record and then press the button for output one and the lock would actually lock. Once we let go, the lock would release. We could hit record and save that program. So this way, if, if someone were to trigger the peekaboo, the lock would actually lock and then unlock after the amount of time that we recorded for. That wouldn't be your typical use for a mag lock. What most people are going to want is to have the lock locked at all times until it's triggered and then unlock. So to do that, we need to switch the peekaboo one into normally closed mode. To do that, we simply unplug the unit hold down the red record button and plug the controller back in. We can release the button. You'll hear the mag lock lock and the peekaboo has now switched over to be normally closed. You'll notice that the lock is now securely locked even though the controller is not activated. Recording with a peekaboo is extremely easy. You simply hit the record button and then hit the green output button to record the sequence of your output. In this case, the mag lock will open whenever I press the button and will stay open for as long as I have the button held down. It's unlikely that you'll want to have this sort of rapid fire opening and closing motion like we just programmed here. Most of the time you're just going to want to have the lock open for an extended period of time once the correct input is triggered. So to do that, we just hit record, then hold down the green button for as long as we want the lock to remain open. For the purpose of this demo, it'll be about five or six seconds. Then let it go, hit record again, and that program is saved. Now, whenever the peekaboo is triggered, the lock will unlock for four to five seconds, and then return to being locked again. So now that we have the peekaboo one controlling the mag lock, we can use a trigger to activate the peekaboo one, which will open the mag lock. The Peekaboo One will accept a wide range of triggers, from simple push buttons to motion sensors and beam sensors, practically any trigger you can imagine. So to start with, let's wire this simple button as our trigger. You can see the button has two wires, a red and a black, although color is irrelevant on these low voltage triggers. The trigger input of the Peekaboo has three terminals, negative, positive, and in. With a simple two button trigger that doesn't require power on its own, you simply connect one wire to the negative terminal and the other wire to in. It doesn't matter which wire goes to which, just as long as one is in negative and one's in in. Once the button is wired into the peekaboo, we can press the button, the peekaboo will run its program, which will open the magnetic lock for the time we specified. And the lock will close again once the program is run. Since this setup is most likely to be used in an escape room, you're not likely to be using just a push button to open the lock, though you certainly could. As I said before, you can use any range of triggers with this setup. So here we have a proximity sensor. Proximity sensor consists of two parts, one that will be wired to the controller, and the other which could be implanted in a prop. When the two parts are brought together, it will trigger the controller. 
it wires up the same as the button since it just has two wires, one to negative and one to in. So I'll go ahead and plug that in and we'll check it out. Now that I have the sensor wired to the peekaboo, when I bring the two parts together, it will trigger the peekaboo which will open the lock. And the lock will close again once the peekaboo's finished running its program. Again, you can adjust the time that the lock is open just by changing the program of the peekaboo. So this is a really cost-effective and simple way to create an escape room puzzle where the player must put an object in the correct position in order to open a magnetically sealed door, drawer, chest, or other locked box. You simply embed this part of the proximity sensor in your prop, embed the sensor end in the location you want the prop to be placed, and when the player places the prop in the correct location, the lock will open. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on this video or send us an email at sales at fryprops.com. Thanks a lot!